And this weekend, we're gonna be doing a special kind of hunting. A hunting that you can do outside of hunting season. What are we hunting for? Fossils. What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here, and welcome back I to the Swamp. Intro. Oh shit! She wants to do the <laughs> intro. Do the intro quick. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Here's Mark. I'm Brianna, and we're heading to my hometown. We can't tell them where we're going. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna stalk us, Brianna. You can't okay, tell them. The video is gonna be released you. like weeks after. You, it'll like be like it'll be next Florida. week. You cannot tell them where we're going because if we find like a freaking mammoth like an entire mammoth then everybody in the florida is going to be going to that spot to try and find fossils so we can't tell them where we're going we are going to a river in florida Undisclosed area. that's where we're going and what are we going to do there nina find some bones find some bones really that's all you got <laughs> no we don't want bones we want fossils um, fossilized bones are okay I've never done this before, but I like finding stuff and spending time outdoors. So this might be a fun activity that we can do outside of hunting season. So we're going to give it a try. Nina. I don't like being told what to do. Nina. <laughs> <sighs> you guys, this is too much pressure now. Tell them what they need to do. You need to subscribe to Mark's channel. You need whoa, to whoa. It's not just mine. It's me and Danny. Subscribe to Swamp and Stomp. <laughs> Subscribe to Swamp and Stump. You need to leave a comment down below if you've ever found a fossil before. Oh. Like, let's make it oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I want to know what kind of fossil or arrowhead you have found and the exact location of where you found it. You have an arrowhead? Yeah, I do. That's super dope. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so we just walked in off the road and there's this little creek. And uh, we're gonna see if we can find some fossils. This is my buddy Marco. How's it going? We work together. So we've been at this for like 10 minutes and we really don't know what the hell we're doing, but we've already found some shark teeth. So Marco's grabbing a, a new bunch of rocks to go through. And look, we're just using like a Dollar Tree trash can as our sieve. And it's actually working pretty good. So. We're just sieving out all the sand. Got a bunch of rocks. And he's just pouring it out onto this plate here and kind of looking through it. Let's see if there's anything cool in here. So Marco's had all the luck. He's already found a bunch of teeth. <laughs> I like that you can just spread this out like this. Yeah. And search through it really quickly. What was that? No, that's not. And there's all kinds of fossils mixed in. Like, this is definitely a fossil, but we have no clue what it is. Because we're just noobs. So, sure are. The only thing we really know how to identify is shark teeth and ray plates. There you go. That might be something right there. Might oh, be. yeah. Here's a piece of a ray plate get some light so you can see I'm pretty sure and and if you're a fossil hunter and you know better please correct me but I think that this is a piece of the plate that a stingray uses to like grind up its food so and I'm getting all of this information because I've been watching a YouTube channel called paleo Chris and the guy just does this all day long and it got me really there excited. Bam. There's a shark tooth. Look at that thing. That's a nice one. I think that's a snaggle tooth shark. Pretty cool. See, Marco's got all the luck. There it goes in his bag. All right, I'm gonna get some and look for some myself. Just found a shark tooth a second ago. Ooh, what is that? little piece of fossilized wood which most people probably don't care about but i think it's cool because i'm a noob and pretty much everything that's fossilized is sweet
and I'm sure that I'm missing so many different things because I just don't know what they are. So if you see me miss something, drop a comment and yell at me. Oh, there's something. Uh, it might be like ray plate. Oops. Ray plate. I don't know. Something. Definitely uh, something. Oop, I'm not showing you guys. Definitely something not not like it's definitely an animal something. So far, I think we've found a shark tooth on every single, every single scoop that we've gone through. Oh, this is cool. Here's an actual complete bivalve that looks just like a regular bivalve, but it's a fossil. It's a rock. Oh, here's a shark tooth. Look at that. Oh, and it's a super cool color, too. But it's not very big. But it's a shark tooth. I'm going to keep sifting. So I finally found something cool. I think this is a tiger shark tooth. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't really know. but It's really in really great shape. The base is intact. It's got the serrations on it. Super cool find. So I was sifting through all this. And I found this, which I think is a mako tooth, but it's definitely the biggest one we found so far. And the tooth is in really good shape, but the base is broke off right there. But still, super cool. Oh, there's a little piece of ray plate right there. I'm going to keep sifting through this. So a whole bunch of these fossils are pretty straightforward. There's a, obviously a lot of shark teeth, but I got a whole bunch of stuff that I really have no clue what they are. So I'm gonna sort through them and kind of separate them out based on what I think they are. But it'd be really great if some of you guys that are a little more experienced could actually help me out with identifying some of these fossils that I've found because uh, this was actually super fun and I could totally see myself getting into this and doing it more often. In fact, next week, uh, we're gonna be heading over to another area in Florida uh, and doing a little more fossil hunting, so we should have another video coming out soon. Um, you know, we're always looking for stuff to do during the off season, keep us busy and still outdoors. And especially with this COVID-19 silliness, this uh, is just a really good way to get out and, uh, and enjoy nature. Alright, so here's what I've got. Now a few of these things, I actually know what they are. I, or at least I think I know what they are. Um, but a lot of them I really don't. So I know that everything in this little pile, these are all ray plates. I've got a whole bunch of those. Um, then over in this pile, I'm pretty sure that these are uh, Sorry, the lighting is kind of hard. So I'm pretty sure this is uh, soft shell turtle scutes. So I got a few of those. And please correct me if I'm wrong, if, you know, because I, I may just have gotten the wrong information. Then over here, these ones I think are just regular, regular turtle scutes. And I got a whole bunch of these, it's pretty big ones too. Um, and I actually really like this one, even though it's really small. It uh, is complete and just 
really nice dark black color. Just has a cool look to it, so I kind of like that one. And I think again, I think I think that that's a center, uh, a, a knuckle scoot of a uh, not soft shell turtle. And then these over here, these these are just pieces of bone, really. Like I found a lot of bone um, that. I just thought it looked cool, so I held on to it. There's a lot of bone that I let go. Here I have uh, like a vertebrae of something. Don't know what. Probably a turtle. This came out of the river when I was floating around, just picking up rocks and stuff to look at them. So I think that might be a turtle. Um, and then obviously these are all shark teeth, and I still don't really know how to identify them. So these are all shark teeth, and I, I thought that I had a handle of what they were, but I really don't think I do. Now I do notice that some of them are like longer and pointier, like this one here. And uh, I don't really know what that is, uh, but I got a bunch of those like longer pointier ones. And then I have a bunch of these that are kind of like uh, let's see, they're like slanted to one side, but they don't have serrations. So, but from what I've looked at, it looks like that might be a mako shark. And then, you know, tiger shark ones are all pretty obvious. This is actually a really nice tiger shark tooth that I found. Um, that was completely intact. Let's get that in focus down there. Um, so that was a really nice one. I was pretty happy with that. And then I got these like smaller ones that I guess, like I think that they're shark, that they're uh, um, tiger shark teeth because they have serrations on the, the inside of the tooth here. But they look a little different than the other ones I found. So uh, if any of you have any idea what kind of shark tooth that is, please let me know because I don't have a clue. Uh, and then these up here, now, now that I'm looking at them, they don't look a whole lot different than the other ones. But I separated these because they tend to be kind of short teeth with a really long, wide base. So I don't know if that's like a characteristic of a particular type of tooth. But again, if you have any idea, please let me know. I need to learn this stuff. So, And then this tooth's really cool. I don't know what... Uh, this comes from, but it looks very different than the other ones. The base of it has this, uh, like it's not flat, it has like a three dimensional shape to it. And it's kind of curved. Is this is this a snaggle tooth shark? I don't know. Um, that one's really cool. And then this right here, I think, I think this is the big the heartbreaker. I think that this is a shard of a megalodon tooth because it has the serrations on the side here um, and it's got sort of that wedge shape of a tooth so I think that that might actually be a piece of a megalodon tooth I'm not 100% sure though um, but if it is that sucks I'm gonna have to go back there and look a little harder um, and then this is probably my pride and joy which most people probably don't care about but I think this is a copper light it even has like little creases in it and stuff, so I'm pretty sure that's a turd. Um, let's see what else I got. I got some little bits of fossilized wood, which I just thought looked really cool. And then, so these, this row right here, these are the, the things I don't know what the heck they are. And as I'm looking at some of them, I'm like, eh, maybe they're nothing. Um, but. This thing is kind of cool. This is a, uh, I think it's like a claw of something. It might be a tooth though. Like it could be like a tooth of a, a cat of sorts. I don't know, it's kind of small, but um, pretty cool looking. It, it has like, on the base, it's kind of like a more dull color. So maybe that's the root of the tooth. Um, so. Anybody have any clue what 
kind of tooth or claw that might be, please let me know. And then this thing. This is, this really intrigues me. I have no idea what this is. Let me get this in focus up close. So this thing, it kind of looks like a ray plate in a way, but it's too big and it, but it's like, it's got these two little like teardrop shaped things attached to each other. I want to say it's like some sort of tooth, but I really don't know. So I'm really curious about that one, if anybody knows what that is. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's my big haul. So pretty excited with it. So anyway, uh, that's everything that I got. Uh, I had a great time doing it. So I'm looking forward to next weekend and uh, trying a little bit more. So, but please, if you know what some of these things are, uh, and if I got anything wrong, please let me know. I have no clue, but I really want to get into this stuff. It's, it was a really good time. So thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Even though this is a hunting channel, uh, this is still some form of hunting. So maybe you'll be interested in some of the other stuff that we like to make videos of. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.